Here is my Toyota weight reduction test. And yes, it runs and drives. But before I do a walk around, let's take a minute to explain how this happened. Living in Northern Ohio, I feature a lot of rusty Toyotas on the channel. They usually end up getting parted out to keep other Toyota trucks on the road. The frames are usually junk thanks to road salt and are definitely not safe for driving. The engines and transmissions tend to pile up in the garage. Or maybe a crusty frame goes toward converting a Honda Accord Ute into a four-wheel drive Frankenstein powered by Toyota. I reuse everything I possibly can from these trucks. A couple of years back, I bought a black 87 four-wheel drive that featured a very rusty broken frame held together by a clamp. I think I only made a couple videos on this truck. And after a couple of years of searching for a clean frame, bed, and cab, I started parting it out and ended up trading a bunch of parts for some first-gen parts I needed for an upcoming build. I listed the low mileage 22R engine for sale about six months ago and had a guy interested in the five-speed trans too. I had already stripped the truck down to the bare minimum needed to run and drive, so I asked if he wanted to buy the rest of the truck. We agreed on a price and the first person to guess that price in the comments will get some stickers in the mail. Hey, check out my 1987 Toyota Extreme Weight Reduction. Special thanks to Ohio Winners and Rust for getting this project started. If you want to go fast with a 22R, this is the only way. Yes, it does run and drive. Four wheel drive still works. This right here is the bare minimum that one of these trucks needs to run. Check out this frame. That's Ohio Patina right there. We've got a couple little holes up there, but then there's this guy. And it's rotted through both sides of the boxed frame and the bottom. The cab is definitely holding this frame together. Nice open exhaust that we'll uh, hear in a little bit. Look at how far this torsion bar mount has twisted down because it's so rusty. And look how much more straight this side is. Yeah, this might be the worst frame I've seen yet. So, looking across the front subframe here. Not bad, not bad. Oh, some might call that a giant crack. But, it's actually just more weight reduction. And there's actually some more weight reduction going on up here on the frame. You don't need four walls on a boxed frame. This weight reduction helps get more air to the radiator. And this weight reduction here, it uh, helps to keep the driver's feet cool. And actually the fresh air enters up here through the front support and flows right through here into the cab. I'd hit this with a hammer a few times, but a dude's about to come by it and I need it to be able to drive up onto his trailer. Look at that. The whole frame is bulging out from the rust. I mean, uh, the weight reduction. This is just gonna help it articulate and flex better anyways. And it will continue to shed weight as you drive it. All right, 22R, 138,000 miles on this truck. Open downpipe. Sounds like uh, sounds like she's making some popcorn. Heading off to its next home to get uh, another Toyota back on the road. Thanks for watching. Hey, there's a link to my store in the description where you'll find all kinds of rad Yoda merchandise like shirts, hoodies, posters, phone cases, and a lot more. Thanks to everyone out there who supports the channel. It really means a lot to me to see people wearing something I designed.